Hey everybody, welcome to Crady Lab. I upgraded my old Immersion RC Shugong 10 to the newer Pro frame and wanted to share the highlights of the build. Uh, the Pro model has an all carbon fiber cage and the power distribution board now has a host of new features including a video switcher, a clean FPV camera supply and even Immersion RC's Easy OSD. Uh, as a bonus, the fit and finish of the parts are just nicer overall, making the V2 Pro a genuinely pretty machine. With the exception of the flight controller and the battery, everything is mounted externally, and that means things like ease of access, cable routing, and weight distribution all require extra thought. The final layout seemed like an efficient use of space, and to keep it all tidy, I custom made the servo cables to length, and of the two round DJI leads, only the LED cable needed to be shortened. The Easy OSD provides altitude and battery telemetry, but I added the FreeSky module so that I could program audible and haptic alarms into my Tyrannus. ESCs are 30 amp Blue Series parts from my first Shugong. These are excellent end MOSFET controllers, but before reinstalling them, I replaced the wiring and secured the heat sinks with thermal conductive epoxy. For safety and because they look awesome, I decided to put lights on the motor arms and flexible LED strips were the obvious choice. Uh, the rounded ends of the arms are less than 30 millimeters in diameter, so the strips have to conform to a fairly tight radius. Uh, that means the orientation of the surface mount resistors is something to watch out for. If the resistors are mounted at a right angle like these, then there's very little risk the solder pads are, will break. Uh, but if they're mounted lengthwise, the added stress can cause the pads to fail almost immediately. The strips I selected are 12 volt units intended for automotive use, and at five millimeters wide, they're nearly a perfect match for the motor arms.
Soldering the strips isn't difficult, but you don't want to linger on the solder pads. I used my 40 watt iron with a fine tip so I could get in and out quickly. As an aside, the reel of white LEDs came with self-adhesive backing, but the red ones didn't, so I used 1mm VHB, which is considerably stronger and more durable.
crap battery low. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Camera two. Camera one. Camera two. Camera one.
This was a great project and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out, but that doesn't mean I'm finished. Uh, planned upgrades include UHF radio gear, 1.2 gigahertz video, and a three axis gimbal. Uh, for anyone interested, I've provided links to uh, the parts and tools in the video description. And if you have any questions about the build, please put them in the comment section. Overall, I think the Shugong Pro is an exceptional value. If built with care, it's a versatile camera drone with very few warts that's suitable for travel or backpacking. And if you're considering building your own Shugong, now would be a great time to buy. I just now checked the Hobby King website and they have the V2 Pro listed for only $92. That's crazy cheap. Well, that's it. Please like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.